Whoa. Holy crap. We got some wild fungus. I should go get my spore trays and take some samples. See if I can grow them out. It's obviously a hardwood loving mushroom because this is an oak tree. And there's obviously a lot of mycelium in the ground because it's got quite a big cluster here and on the back stump. Pretty unique, right? So if I was going to take a sample of these, I would get my razor blade and I would clean it with alcohol. But there's also a lot of wild fungus and moss, which is a good sign. It means the ground's healthy. Healthy enough to support mycelium. Must be quite a patch because a couple weeks ago there was some right over there sticking up out of the ground. Big old tall. Uh, weird looking, but that's unique. Very unique. Kind of pretty too. It's only on the one side of the tree though, so I don't know what that's all about. But maybe before they die off for the season, I will get a spore sample. Looks like somebody's already yopped into them a little bit. There's a chunk missing. They should be edible. I don't know though. Not sure what kind of fungus it is, so I wouldn't eat it until I knew. look like wild tree mushrooms. It's hard to tell if they're edible until you really get a sample and send it in and test it. Unless you can identify mushrooms like that. But it tells me that the mycelium is healthy in the ground because this tree is just being eaten alive by this mushroom and composted and broke down. Well, I guess we got a little, a little start there. Makes me wonder if somebody didn't drill holes in the tree and put plugs in it. Because there's more popping up over here too. That's the start of mycelium growth coming through the bark. It's very unique. This makes me wish I had my razor blade with me. I would take a sample. It's pretty though. It's definitely pretty. I wanted to share a little update. I saw these last year and I was like, oh, that's unique. And I got some good footage of it. Cool. Alright y'all, peace out.